Let's find out about daffodils by Key Stage 1 Nature, teaching science naturally. Here are some daffodil bulbs. Bulbs are an underground store of food. They look dead, but they're far from being so. If you cut open a bulb, you can see lots of layers. Here and here. Each layer is a store for food. An onion is a bulb. And you can see the layers if you ask someone to cut one in half for you so that you can look at it. It might make your eyes water though, so be careful. As the plant starts to grow, it uses up the food in the bulb. You can see here the shoot starting to come out from the centre. Around January, you can see daffodil shoots starting to emerge above the ground. Below the ground, the roots will be travelling down from the bulb into the soil. The leaves grow taller. If the weather is nice and warm and sunny, then they will grow quite quickly. However, a spell of colder weather with maybe snow or frost will slow them down quite considerably. It is not long before there are stems with buds at the end of them. The flower petals are wrapped in a papery covering called the calyx. At this stage, the buds are pointing straight up to the sky. The calyx covering has now turned brown, as the bud is now pushing its way through and the calyx has split open. Note now how the bud is bent over. If it is a sunny day, the flowers will open quite quickly. You can see that the bud is now at right angles to the stem. The flower continues to gradually unfold, bit by bit, until it is fully open in all its splendour. Let's look at the parts of a daffodil flower. First, we have the petals. Let's count them. How many can you see? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six big petals around the outside of the flower. Everybody recognises a daffodil because of its trumpet. Some trumpets are bright orange, like this one. And then in the middle of the trumpet, you will find the pollen. Insects visit the flowers to gather nectar, which is a sugary food. As they visit, the dusty pollen rubs off onto them. When they visit another flower, some of the pollen mixes with the next flower's pollen. And when this happens, it is called pollination. And it means that the plant can make seeds. Daffodils can grow from seeds, but it takes a very long time, years in fact. And so they have two ways of making more of their own kind. The bulbs can multiply too, and this is the most usual way of getting more daffodil plants. In autumn, gardeners will dig up their bulbs and separate them and plant the new ones somewhere else. Once the flowers are over, it is best to cut off the dead flowers, leaving the stems and leaves to fade away rather than cutting them down, as the plant needs to store energy in the bulb for next year. Then the bulb lies quietly under the ground, waiting, waiting, until spring is here again. Key Stage 1 Nature, teaching science naturally, www.keystage1nature.weebly.com by Lily Betts Resources. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth, and God saw that it was good. Genesis. Chapter 1